A Supreme Court's ruling on gay marriage could come as early as tomorrow. The court heard arguments in April about whether Ohio and three other states violated the Constitution in prohibiting same-sex marriage. And John Kosick, you're looking into the potential impact the high court's ruling could have here in Ohio. Yeah, Lee, it's a day legal watchers knew would be coming once the Supreme Court struck down the Defense of Marriage Act two years ago. Now, cases in four states, including Ohio, could decide the matter once and for all. When it comes to same-sex marriage, U.S. Supreme Court rulings over the last two years have cleared the way for those unions to take place in roughly two-thirds of the country. Now, as they're set to rule on cases involving the bans in four of the remaining states, including Ohio, legal experts believe those previous rulings have essentially painted the court into a corner, clearing the way for same-sex marriage in the U.S. I think it's a done deal. There's no way they, it would wreak havoc legally. Um, if only on a tax basis to for the court to turn around and say, oh my gosh, what were we thinking? Joan Berta is a nationally recognized attorney and author on gay and lesbian legal issues. She said it was the same approach the high court took in the 60s in overturning state laws that banned interracial marriages. So as places like Cuyahoga County's probate court prepared to begin issuing marriage licenses to same-sex couples the day the ruling comes down, Berta says she's advising her clients to not just jump into a marriage, but we didn't think it through. We still don't have a non-discrimination law in the state of Ohio or on the federal level. So while you may be able to get married, that doesn't mean your boss isn't going to fire you on Monday morning. And that's something people have to consider, is that there are still issues that need to be resolved. Well, while the decision could come as early as tomorrow, court watchers say they tend to keep their biggest decisions until the final days of June. and. This would fall into that category. Live in the newsroom, John Kosick, News Channel 5.